The siege of Constantinople of 1453 was a decisive event in European history, marking the end of the Byzantine Empire and the rise of the Ottoman Empire. The siege lasted from April 6 to May 29, 1453, and resulted in the conquest of Constantinople by the Ottoman army led by Sultan Memd II. The Byzantine Empire had been in decline for centuries, and by the 15th century, it was a shadow of its former self. The empire was surrounded by hostile powers, including the Ottomans, the Venetians, and the Genoese. Memd II, the Ottoman Sultan, was determined to conquer Constantinople. He had a large and well-equipped army, and he had developed new siege weapons, including cannons that could fire large stone balls. The Byzantines, led by Emperor Constantine eleven Paleologos, were outnumbered and outgunned. They had a small army of about 7,000 men, and they relied on the city's strong walls for protection. The siege began on April 6, 1453. The Ottomans quickly built a series of siege towers and began bombarding the city walls. The Byzantines fought bravely, but they were unable to stop the Ottoman advance. On May 29, 1453, the Ottomans broke through the city walls. Constantine XI was killed in the fighting, and the city fell to the Ottomans. The fall of Constantinople was a major turning point in European history. It marked the end of the Byzantine Empire, which had lasted for over 1,000 years. It also opened the way for Ottoman expansion into Europe. The fall of Constantinople had a profound impact on the Byzantine Empire. It led to the end of the empire's political and cultural influence. Many Byzantine scholars and artists fled the city, and their work helped to spread Greek culture to the West. The fall of Constantinople also had a significant impact on European politics. It led to a renewed sense of Christian unity, and it motivated European powers to unite against the Ottoman Empire. The siege of Constantinople was a complex event with far-reaching consequences. It marked the end of an era and the beginning of a new one. There were several factors that contributed to the siege of Constantinople. One factor was the rise of the Ottoman Empire. The Ottomans were a powerful Muslim empire that was expanding rapidly in the 15th century. They had conquered much of the Balkans, and they were determined to conquer Constantinople. Another factor was the decline of the Byzantine Empire. The Byzantine Empire had been in decline for centuries and it was a shadow of its former self. The empire was surrounded by hostile powers, and it was unable to defend itself against the Ottomans. Finally, the siege was also motivated by religious differences. The Ottomans were Muslims, and the Byzantines were Christians. The Ottomans saw the conquest of Constantinople as a way to spread Islam in Europe. The siege of Constantinople began on April 6, 1453. The Ottomans quickly built a series of siege towers and began bombarding the city walls. The Byzantines fought bravely, but they were unable to stop the Ottoman advance. The Ottomans also used a new type of weapon, called a cannon. The cannons were able to fire large stone balls that could destroy the city walls. The Byzantines had no defenses against these cannons, and they were quickly overwhelmed. On May 29, 1453, the Ottomans broke through the city walls. Constantine XI was killed in the fighting, and the city fell to the Ottomans. The fall of Constantinople had a profound impact on European history. It marked the end of the Byzantine Empire, which had lasted for over 1,000 years. It also opened the way for Ottoman expansion into Europe. The fall of Constantinople also had a significant impact on European politics. It led to a renewed sense of Christian unity, and it motivated European powers to unite against the Ottoman Empire. The siege of Constantinople was a decisive event in European history. It marked the end of an era and the beginning of a new one. The fall of Constantinople had a profound impact on the Byzantine Empire, European politics, and the course of world history.